Hi Marlon. Hi hello. Kamusta? So, anong magiging topic natin for today? Um, I think it's much better if we're going to have something like how to take care of your siblings after you have so many. Kasi uh, most of the video tutorials na nakikita natin sa si YouTube is walang sinasabi na ano kung paano alagaan after sewing uh, they're just going to show you kung paano mag sew and then yung results na kagad uh, ang problema doon kasi hindi natin alam kung ano yung mga ma-encounter natin na problems like uh, algae, uh, fungus, insects kasi may growth problems pa so yun yung mga tingin ko that's the problem or that's something that's lacking doon sa mga tutorials natin and total na na bigyan na natin yung instructions yung three easy steps plus yung sanitation or sterilization so what happens next tingin ko yun ang pinaka makakatulong sa mga gustong matutong mag seeds okay, okay. so ano ang dapat na gawin okay well anyway uh, let's start muna dito ito yung section A section B namin ibang section na doon sa labas uh, for the first month, doon dapat magsimula yung general check-up ninyo. Uh -huh. Okay, kasi ang check-up um, <coughs> is much better kung after the first month. First to second week kasi ang germination eh. Third week, mag a na yan. Uh, fourth week, continuous na yung, ano, uh, yung growth niya. Uh -huh. On the first month then it's also good to apply kung ano man kailangan i-apply like fertilizers or ano. So, ang purpose ko for the general checkup is to check the progress. Whether it's bad or it's good, basta progress of what's happening to the seedlings, yun ang mahalaga, number one. That's the main purpose. Uh, the second one is I have to look for problems. These are the problems that uh, growers actually uh, experience uh, of the seeds. Okay, so first, ang um, number one tinitignan ko is yung uh, fungus. If there's fungus, okay, uh, we have to do something about it. One, um, I'm going to look for one. Huh? Okay. So this is a good example. Yeah. Kasi na fungus can is the number one reason why seedlings die. For example, ito. Fungus, fungus. And yung katabi niya, may algae na. Ito yung fungus. Ito yung algae. Mabubuhay pa ba yung mga yan? Um, yes. Um, troubleshooting nito, um, kapag may nakita kayong fungus, eh, you have to take it off doon sa enclosure niya. From the plastic. So, in this case, tatanggalin ko siya. I-open ko na siya totally. Okay. Ilalap na siya. And then, you have to spray fungicides here. It's a must. Or else, ba, mas madaming mamamatay. Ano yun eh, ah, continuous yung fungus. So, magmumultiply mag yung spores. Kapag hindi nyo naagapan yung magkakaroon pa problem. So, so, you really have to apply uh, fungicides. And then, you have to let it dry. I air dry. You have to air dry it. Okay? Uh, no sun exposure, definitely, because it's going to... Uh, dehydrate the seedlings apply watering uh, only after the week as well kasi uh, you have to kill the, the fungus first and ang fungus nagtatribe yan sa mga moist na environment that's why you have to keep it dry um, another thing that I look for is algae algae, algae um, I this one I actually ang algae <laughs> it is just okay <laughs> I won't hurt your seedlings kung hindi pa siya nag, uh, well unlike nito in an engulf niya kasi once the algae has engulfed the seedlings that's the time na magkakaroon kayo ng problem kasi hindi nagkakaroon ng chloro, uh, hindi nagkakaroon ng photosynthesis yung seedlings mo na mamatay and then later on what what's happening is nagkakaroon na rin siya ng fungus so ang kumakain nung dapat nakainin ng plant ay yung uh, algae. Algae. yun yung based on my experience and from my observation ang algae it's, it's just okay, basta nasa soil lang siya, 
kung hindi siya nakakaabot pa sa siblings na binabalo niya, it's just okay. So, ito binalot na. Binalot na. So, ano dapat ang dyan? dapat niyong gawin dyan, again, you have to air dry it kasi ang algae ay cause rin niya ng moisture dun sa environment. So, in, mm-hmm. ano eh, hindi natin may iwasan kung minsan. Um, you just have to let it dry. Okay, air dry niyo muna. Uh, ako, uh, I spray fungicides na rin as a prevention. Okay. And then watering would resume about uh, within two weeks. Okay. Pero wag yung within the first week ha. Pwedeng before ng second or third week is okay. Uh, definitely walang sun exposure or else magkakaroon siya ng shrinkage. Baka magtuloy-tuloy mamatay. Okay, that's what I do. <laughs> so, isa pang inaano ko. Pero this is very seldom, very, very... Uh, very very seldom that happens yung insects uh, I haven't encountered uh, millibugs and scales insects on the, the seedlings but there was a batch before that had um, spider mites so I had to buy uh, meticides for that one okay. do you have a sample? Uh, well, unfortunately but I have a picture of uh, so yung... ipakita na lang dito uh, uh, so papakita ko sa inyo dito yung picture Maya, um, kasi treated na sila tsaka malalaki ng ibang seedlings so yun um, insects very seldom the, the last thing that I have to look out for is the dehydration or the lack of uh, water inside yung, yung plastic for example ito ay hindi pa to eh Kaya hindi to parang ayan see there's no water although malaki na siya kasi habang lumalaki yung seedlings nyo, mas nagko-consume siya ng water. So, ito, wala siyang water na. But, uh, the very beginning talaga, madamis ng water. Look at the color. Oh, it's variegated. Ganda, no guys? It's, it's combination of red, the pink, and there's a green. So, yun. Um, uh, the problem that you can have with the lack of water is yung na stunting growth nila kasi nadidehydrate sila. Nawawalan ng component for growth. So, that's very important for all of the siblings ng, ng cacti. Okay? And that's the one of the main reasons why you have to enclose it like this. Para siyang mini greenhouse so that yung water is na trap lang si, uh, sa loob. So, it actually helps the, the seedlings to grow faster. Yung fertilize, application of fertilizers can happen, can be up, done uh, kapag one month na siya. So you have to open this one, you have to spray fertilizers. It can help, uh, although note lang ha, kung yung orientation ng pot ninyo is yung chemical sterilization, uh, meron na kasing fertilizer yun eh. So, ap- application of fertilizers should be about 2 to 3 months okay pero kung wala yung basic lang first month pwede ka na mag-apply as hangga't may nakita kang ano kapag may nakita ka kagad kulay green is already okay can so, you show us that one, so one? no the other one uh, this one yan okay so <coughs> this wow so this one so makikita ah, hindi pala yan yung meron nakalagay na kung ano yung ano, yung so, in-apply mo. Di ba meron ka dyan yung ditane? Ditane. Ditane ba o ditane? Ditane daw eh. Ditoy. <laughs> well, yun nga. Uh, and also, kapag mag-apply kayo mga ditane, lagyan ng mark kasi um, kung hindi... Ayan. Like this one. <coughs> Yan. Yeah. Oh. Para at least, may alam di- ninyo na... May dietane siya, may fertilizer siya noong 9-20-2019. O, oh, noong 2019. Oh. Okay. So... Tapos siya ay sino uh, noong uh, July. July. Okay. July 12. Batch A. This is the batch A. Uh, madami kasing batches yun eh. Pero ito, this are the section. So, same-same sila na application or ng treatment ko. Ano yung kulay na ito? Ano siya? Oh, for example, ito. Ito... Ang isa pa palang tinitignan ko is yung growth. So, uh, okay. Tapos na tayo sa pagtingin ko sa mga sakit-sakit. 
And that's the time na ang titignan ko naman ay yung ay, di ba tin sinabi ganyan sa fertilizers? Okay. Kung may insecticides, applyan nyo na insecticides kung kailangan. So, ito, kinain na siya na... <coughs> Oo. So, I'm just going to let it dry. Mas madali ito kasi... Yung ah, kaya palag. dry na tong Yes, kaya plastic. dry na. Oo. Para mamatay na. Rin. So, may, may mark dito. Oh. So, ayan, makikita nyo guys. Kaya nyo mawawala. Minsan, I spray them first. Spray talaga yung medyo malakas ng konti para matanggal yung algae. Uh -huh. It... it Help so, sometimes. It, this was engulfed before by uh, algae. Ayun, oh, yeah. tingnan mga okay. algae. So, tinit ko na siya. Mm -hmm. You just have to let it dry. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, one more thing. You have to observe for, for the growth rate. Kasi, for example, um, <coughs> ang growth kasi, ang growth rate, mahalaga yan because uh, if the growth rate is slow, relative doon sa date ng pagsow sa alimbawa, July, sinow ko siya ang liit, liit niya pa then there's a problem and you have to solve it parang mm. sabi na natin ganito oh, so this is just in January tama yung growth rate niya January 11, Ay, sorry, November, uh, November pala November 3, 2019 so okay yung growth rate niya uh, in 2 months medyo maganda yung size niya uh, ang problema is, for example, halimbawa lang ha. Yung 7. Halimbawa, yung 7. Tapos ang size ay maliliit. Oo. Halimbawa, ito. Ito, size ay maliliit. Yeah, may problema yan. You stunted have, yung growth. Stunted yung growth. Something's wrong. You have to find out uh, the reason kung bakit. Ngayon, ginagawa ko dyan, inilalayo ko muna siya, inilalabas ko muna siya, and then, uh, inaplayan ko siya ng ah okay inaplayan ko siya ng fertilizers na rin medyo aggressive na yung for, pag apply ko ng fertilizer uh, there are three fertilizers that I give them uh, application is usually twice a month na doon, doon ako nag observe so it's just very easy now for example itong maganda oh. ito. kailangan mo rin i-check ang growth rate kasi how are you supposed to know kung pwede nang ilabas yung ano yung seedlings mo or hindi? Katulad niya, ang laki-laki na. So, yan. Kahit na kailan ko lang siya sinow, yung July mm -hmm. lang siya. Kasi, di ba ang sabi ko, 8 months hanggang 12 months ang pag-stay niya sa 724 7 So, that's roughly about mga 6 months or 7 months mm -hmm. so less than 8 Sorry, pero pwede mo na siyang ilabas because of the size that's why you have to check for the growth rate para malaman mo rin kung ano yung mga pwede mo nang ilabas dun sa hindi oh, for example, a good example is oh, ito, hindi din yung kasi walang date eh. although ito, Ay, batch 8 ito. tata, babagsak na Ay, mo, mo, bumabagsak na you see siguro naman Pwede na yung task Anong na. date siya sino? Uh, wala na yung ano eh. Pero July to. Binagsak lang. Hindi bumagsak. Si Mickey. July 2019. Mabilis. And there's a, a variegation. Oh. Okay. So you see guys, that's, that's very, very important. That's why I've been telling you So what you are this. you going to do with that? You're going to? You have to replant. So, paano ako nagre-replant? There are a lot of ways kung paano mag-replant. Pero, tignan natin. Yan, katulad yan guys. Inililipat ko lang siya dyan. Compact sila usually. Mga Agua Dulce na hybrids yan. Uh, LB2178 uh, uh, hybrids. So, inililipat ko lang siya. Okay. And Ito then, yung iba. Yan. yan, yung mga maliliit. Bagong transfer lang yan. Okay. Yung iba ito. So, yung, yan, yung iba as to fight. Yung iba nakababad. <laughs> Oo. Kasi minsan, ito yung sinasabi sa inyo kapag nadidehydrate sila. Katulad nito, nadidehydrate sila, half of the pot, half died. Ito yung sinasabi sa inyo, kapag nag-stunt yung growth nila, namamatay. So, what happened here, nag-stunt, nag-dehydrate to, ito nakasurvive. This one, oh. Mga uh, agua dulce, mga yan eh. Just like this one, oh guys, oh. 
Look. Sa kalahati lang yun. Sa kalahati na lang. Pero this one has survived. Itong ano nila. This one too. Oh. Uh, one fourth na lang. Oh, one fourth na lang. So, af- Parang ang tagal na nila <clears throat> nakababad dyan. Buti hindi sila nagrarat, no? Um, contrary sa sinasabi ng iba na nagrarat, hindi. It's not the water that makes uh, the plant die or the cactus die because of yung fungus. Talagang uh, may bacteria, may fungus sa air or something like that. So, ayun. Um, pakita nat Ay, sige. Uh, mas maganda niyan next time, uh, papakita ko sa inyo paano ko itinatransfer. Halimbawa, okay na siya. May mga sizes na ideal na na pwede mo na i-transfer. How are you supposed to do that? Uh, expose mo ba agad sa, sa arawal? Or uh, ano bang gagawin natin? Okay, so ngayon, uh, I was talking about yung how are you going to transfer yung seedlings na pwede na yung may actual size na siyang maganda into a planter box like this one. I haven't seen this planter box for a very long time. Hindi ko pa siya na-inspect. And I left this one for about uh, six months na. Anong katagal? Six months. So, let's see kung anong meron na dito sa loob. Nakikita kayo may, may grass na. <laughs> um, let's see kung anong, hindi ko alam kung anong meron. Pero let's see. Uh, we're going to have an unwrapping. Tagal, tagal ko na hindi ko nakikita. Wow, dami. Ang lalaki nila. Oh, this one is variegated. Ang dami na niya. How small nga natin sila. Masang maging na. Ang dami. Lalaki na nila. Ito na ang pinahala dito. Ito ganda ng kulay. Oh. Which one? This one. Oh. Hindi. Ganun yung patterns niya. Dami. Ang lalaki na nila. Lalo na ito, oh. Dito nagmukha siyang may Hanovici. Mm, nice. This one, nice pattern. Which one is spice niya, oh. Tapos nag-variegate na itong isa. Although, ito yung seeds kasi na maliit lang percentage ng variegation, eh. Pero at least may lumabas na isa. Meron rin dalawa. See? Then, let's be bilang yung manasya ngayon. Tapos, i-re-repat mo na. Kasi 60. Ah, hindi. Huwag na muna. Nagagawin. Pero, ito yung fruits of your labor. And this is something good na to experience when for seedlings or for growing seeds. Um, a lot of people are telling me, oh, it's so long. It takes a lot of time. Uh, for for you to grow seeds, uh, for you to grow cactus from seeds. Oh, definitely. But kapag nakita mo naman na ganyan, the satisfaction, the excitement, uh, hindi mo mababayaran eh. It cannot be uh, tant amount or any amount of money or uh, ano. masaya, masaya siya. And this is the uh, satisfaction I find in uh, propagating cactus through seeds. Kahit matagal siya, okay lang. Uh, I can see a lot of variations here. Ang dami. And ito, sa mga, ito isa ito sa mga bagay na hindi mo makikita kung nagkukulik ka lang ng mga matured na ano. Iba pa rin sa seeds. There are a lot of, there's a lot of surprises. Uh, na makikita mo sa seeds. Okay guys, so para walang dayahan, and ito, uh, hulaan ninyo kung ilan silang lahat. Okay? And that's going to be our game for next our next game. video. Okay? Uh, sa episode 4. Hulaan nyo kung ilan. And then we are going to have a raffle for those who are, who are going to guess it right. So yun, makikita yung dami dyan tao. Ay, nga pala, guys. If you have any questions, just put it on the comment section below. And if you have any suggestions, kung meron kayong gusto ng topic, uh, let's say mga insects or mini bugs or whatever, uh, fungicides, uh, fertilizers, 
let's try to answer that one we're going to do our best i hope to see you guys on our next episode so sana nandoon kayo and thank you so much for all of those na for all of those who have supported our channel and who have watched uh thank you so much we can't thank you enough um rest assured that we are going to have a lot of videos in coming days coming weeks and I'm going to teach you guys everything I know uh, because in this channel uh, all of the basic things, all of the basic knowledge about cactus and succulents dito natin siya share yun dito na so I hope to see you guys if you haven't been subscribed mag subscribe na kayo so that you won't miss the juicy item okay? and hit the notification icon too okay? see ya guys Okay, so here we go guys. Tiyain mo na ako. We already have... Madam Bosses. <laughs> Sorry guys. We already have the, uh, the winners for YouTube. Apat. Instagram. Isa. Um, Facebook. Isa. And then guys, yung mga sumali na hindi nanalo, we are going to have a raffle for all of you guys for joining. Kasi ang gaganda lahat ng sagot nyo. Now guys, sa YouTube, Jan Miranda is okay. Si Christine Joy Bravo. Si Ma'am Christine. Napakaganda ng mga sinasabi niya. You should uh, check her comments too. Napakaganda. Lalo na yun sa, uh, sa labeling and regular monitoring. And yan pa naman ang topic natin ngayon. It's very good. So, tingnan nyo sa kanya. Okay. Si Miss Sheila, ganda rin ang sinasabi niya sa mga, oh, tignan nyo. Pwede sa nang ganda about fungicides. Pati kung paano maglinis ng mga pots. Kailangan daw malinis na malinis. Tapos, dapat madami may mga holes daw yung pots. Okay siya. Pasahin nyo rin, okay siya. So, isa siya sa pang pangalawang winner natin. Second. Si Jimnos Manila, binabase niya sa experience niya. Pero same-same lang kami nang sinasabi. The, the steps, maring meron siya sa mga steps na inaano. Pero still the same. The, the whole process is still the same. And, hindi ka lang kami tayo sila. Mahingay guys. Kikita niyo ba ako? <laughs> Mahingay, pasensya na kayo. Uh, raw talaga yung video natin. Anyway, si Jimnos Manila, ganda ng sagot niya based on experience, so dapat guys basahin nyo rin yung sinasabi si ma'am nympha napaka detalyado ng sinasabi niya yung sa microwave, sa oven okay, okay guys, kung gusto nyo ano, i-check nyo yung comments niya yan, napaka detailed siya sa mga winners natin team nose manila, yun si ma'am nympha okay, pang Ito ba? <laughs> Ito kasi. Si Joke Alberta at saka si Miss Contender. Hanapin natin si... Okay, teka lang. Ayun, si Joke. Ang ganda ng, ano, detalyado yung kay Joke. <laughs> Naputol. Okay, so si Joke, maganda yung sagot niya. And in Tagalog, that's why also like ito. Okay rin sana si Sonnet. Based on their own experience rin. Cherry, okay rin. Si Miss Contender, ang kinagandahan niya, ang dami niyang sinishare rin. Bukod din sa steps na sinare ko sa inyo guys, meron, basahin niyo yung comments niya, madami rin kayo matututunan. That's why isa siya sa mga napili. Okay, so, to have a recap, si Miss Christine, Si Sheila, si Jimnos Manila, si Ma'am Nympha, si Joke Alberta, <coughs> si Miss Contender ang nanalo for YouTube. Sa Instagram, ay naku nawala. Okay, sa Instagram ay ang nanalo ay tinga. Si Jan, ay hindi. Si Ash Pen, at tinga. Ano ba 'yun? Si Emma Shantiay. Okay, so 
si Ashanti Mar Andamon. Siya yung nanalo sa Instagram. And then si Yute sa Facebook is si John Miranda. Yeah. Ah, yun, tama. John Miranda. So, guys, paki-PM ako. Papost ko mamaya kung ano yung mga nag naging price prices ninyo, ha? So, mag-random picker tayo para naman doon sa mga hindi, ano, ah, uh, Pipili tayo. Okay. So, ito na yung lahat ng mga pangalan ninyo, guys. Thank you so much again, guys, para sa lahat ng mga sumali. Yung mga hindi nanalo in Facebook, in YouTube, and in Instagram. Ito, guys. Nilagay ko na kayong lahat dito. And I'm going to choose. Pipili na tayo. Guys, again, kung meron kayong katanungan, please pakilagay lang sa comment section below. If you want to request something or o kung yung mga susunod na topic natin kung gusto nyo i-discuss, pwede nyo naman sabihin. We are going to do our best para mag, mag, masagot yung mga yun, magawa natin na videos. Ha? And uh, we also would like to have your feedback para malaman namin kung sa yung strengths namin kung nakakatulong ba talaga kami. And if we are lacking on something, um, mas maganda yun na malaman namin para ma-develop namin yung yung channel namin, yung mga topics, yung mga sinasabi namin para mas makatulong kami. Okay, so ito na. Sharani Monge. Saan ko siya na nakuha? Ay, sa Facebook siya. Sa Facebook. Ayun. Sa Facebook nakita ko na siya. Hey, Sharani. Thank you so much. Nanalo ka. Ay, ano ba yan? Sorry. Consolation. Nice. From FB. Okay, guys. Congratulations.